In this video, I'm going to tell you about the electric modes and how I achieve 2.2 liters per 100 kilometers in the all new Ford Escape plug-in hybrid vehicle. Of course, you all heard about the Ford Escape. You can see my video on the Ford Escape here. Check it out if you like. But in this video, I'm talking about the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. You have a normal fuel tank and you also have your plug-in point. This is a type two plug-in point for the Ford Escape. When plugging in your charger to the wall, there's a couple of things that you need to consider. When do I charge? For charging, it takes about five hours for your battery from zero right up to your 60 kilometers that you'll get from the battery from the plug-in source. And so Ford is saying in the manual that do not disconnect the charger until the battery is fully charged. So that's gonna affect how you plug it in and when you plug it in because you don't wanna disrupt the charge and the charge from home takes about five hours. When you get out of the car, there'll be a trip summary on your screen and that will actually tell you how long it's gonna to take to recharge your battery back up to full again. So you have to consider, do I have the time? Now at home, it's about five hours to charge up, but if you go to a high flow charging station, then you're gonna get it for about two hours in the high level. And it also gives you that indication on the dash, on the screen, how long it's gonna charge if you're near a high flow. Now I had one issue. When I'm charging at home, it, it seems to be on the same circuit as a lot of my appliances. So I really have to be careful what's running at the same time to avoid clipping the power. So you get to your type two connector, there is a little rubber stopper on the end of it. And that is to just obviously protect it from uh, any rain or dust or moisture getting into it. And you simply push to touch, it'll pop open. You have some lights there and you simply plug it in. It will have a flash of the circle just to say what's going on. And then the blue bars there uh, indicate that it's charging. If it was nearly empty, it would just be this blue one. If it was a little bit more full, it shows this one. So this look is about halfway and it will get to all blue when it's fully charged. You can see now that you've got a couple of buttons here. You can set through your app inside the dash when you want to charge the car. So you can plug it in and it can charge from certain hours of the day. And that way you don't have to come in and do it manually. And so when you plug it in, you push that and then it will start to charge. So I've got it set to charge from 12 a.m. through to about 6 a.m. And that will mean that there's not gonna be any other competing charges within the house. When you are finished charging, uh, you just, just simply push this button to eject. And you take it out. Now it's one thing to note when the car is locked that this cannot be pulled out. So you've at some location somewhere and the car is locked, you physically can't pull this out. I'm absolutely obsessed with trying to game this system to get my fuel, my liters per hundred, as cheap as possible. And it's to game the system and to use this car most efficiently so I can be using electric as much as I can. So I have spent my time to get it down to about 2.2 liters per hundred. Ford says that it's combined as 1.5. I haven't managed to get it there yet. There's four different modes when driving this car and you want to use it in the right way depending on how you're driving and when you're driving to actually get the most out of the battery. The other thing to consider is I have solar panels. My solar panels, I get like a $7 power bill per quarter, which is amazing. So I must be on some great feed in and some great rebates. But if you look, if I could charge this during the day, it'd be coming from the solar panels directly into this battery and I wouldn't be paying anything for it. But at the moment I'm charging at night just due to the electrical use in the house and I am paying where there's low, the, the peak price for electricity is even lower. So I haven't actually got my electric bill since I've been using this and I'll hope to share that with you in, in a further video. All right, we can see our information. It says electric driving. You can see that there's 29 kilometers on the uh, battery. You can see that blue bar there, which shows that there's 29 kilometers on the battery. Now here are your driving modes. Number one is normal operation. Now this is fully automatic. This is where Ford is making the decisions for you. They're deciding when to use the combustion engine, when to use the electrical engine to maximize your fuel economy. Now you could simply just do this and just not even think about it. But for me, I wanted to look a bit deeper and I wanted to learn more about how to use this system to make sure I was getting the best. 
So we could see that we've got normal operation there as highlighted in white. All electric driving. So this is the mode you want to use to use up your 60 kilometers that you can have in your battery. If you use all electric driving, it's going to drive all electric and then it's going to wear out that battery down to zero and then the combustion engine will take over. That's my favorite mode when I know I'm only going to do about 60 Ks in a day. I love it because I know I'm driving for free. Brilliant. The next mode is save your electric energy for later. So this is a good mode for using for driving. If you're doing a long trip on, on the highway and you think it's pointless burning the battery on this highway because highway is going to be more economical for your combustion engine, you think, let's just use our fuel now and save the electric for when we're doing 60 and we're doing our start stop in traffic. So that's save whatever's later. So if you had 100% of the battery, it would say save 100% of the battery for later. And if you had 57% of the battery, like I do here, it's saying we'll save that energy for later. This next mode is pretty cool as well. So this mode is EV charge, battery charge by engine. You heard the engines turned itself on. So no longer will you have the car silent at lights, the engine will continue running. Now that will then charge your battery. You can see the battery is now grayed out and it says 29 kilometers and that means that the combustion engine is charging that 29 kilometer battery up to its 60 again. So driving on the highway, you could do every three Ks that you do will put one kilometer back into the battery. So this is a good way to recharge your battery and then go to electric and then go to recharge and then to electric. So the modes are quite interesting and you've got to learn how to game these modes to get the best out of your engine so you can use the least amount of fuel. Just anecdotally, it feels like it was months ago that I went to the petrol station. I filled it up to full and it was just saying 890 Ks till empty, 850 Ks till entry and it just seemed like forever. I've still got half a tank and I got this car at new uh, this car had 13 kilometers on it and now it's got 15.75. One tank was $60 and a half a tank was another 20. So I spent $80 on fuel so far. I've got half a tank left and I've done 1,575 kilometers. That's my look at the moment in plugging, charging, using the brand new Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. Hope you enjoyed, lots more videos to come. I've got my one month video coming up soon.